Hello, welcome to another episode of Sustainable Investing. My name is Mike, and today we're going to talk about some initial test results from Hylion's hybrid electric truck solution. Before we begin, make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It really helps support the channel. So Hylion makes electric and hybrid semi trucks and powertrains. Earlier this year, Hylion announced that they're forming the Hypertruck Innovation Council, which is a council of multiple fleet operators and companies to test out the Hypertruck and hybrid trucking solutions powertrain. If we look at Hylion's stock price chart, six months ago the stock was bouncing around $15 to $20 per share. However, in 2021, the stock price began falling, and that was more related to, I think, the overall electric vehicle industry having a pullback. And Hylion's stock price actually reached lows below $8 per share. However, in recent weeks, their stock price has been rallying above $10. And I think that's partly related to overall the electric vehicle industry rallying, but also Hylion has been reporting some initial testing results on their trucks demo deployment. And I think investors are seeing this as some positive results for the company. So last week, Hylion reported that three companies located in Oregon were had completed some initial testing results of their hybrid compressed natural gas uh, powertrain. They were loaned the powertrain for about three weeks and were able to test it out and to see how it performed in their fleet operations. The article read, As part of the program, Hylion collaborated with Northwest Natural to equip a freight liner Cascadia Day Cab with their hybrid compressed natural gas solution a self-charging powertrain that boosts performance by adding up to 120 horsepower to a Class 8 semi-truck, enough power to allow the vehicle to perform more like a diesel truck. So the three companies that were loaned this hybrid powertrain were Baker Rock Resources, which used the hybrid powertrain to haul full loads of construction materials and landscaping materials up steep inclines and said that the powertrain provided more than ample power. There was also a company called Tillamook County Creamery Association, which is a dairy company, and they said that the truck easily hauled heavy loads across highways. And finally, the third company was Cal Portland, which is a cement manufacturer. And they used the trucks and said that they were easy to operate and have strong potential to reduce the fleet's carbon emissions. So the companies provided some statements after testing out the vehicle and Baker Rock Resources said that the demonstration was a complete success and we absolutely have plans to add the technology to our fleet. Tillamook County Creamery Association said being able to test a compressed natural gas hybrid electric hybrid truck helped us see firsthand that the technology available today performs well on our distribution routes with enough power to get over the mountain passes and was straightforward for our drivers. As a result of this trial, we are assessing the potential to replace our diesel trucks with Hylion's natural gas vehicles. So that's really great news. The third company said the vehicle provided by Hylion and Northwest Natural is a great opportunity to add an environmentally friendly option for hauling freight. And the compressed natural gas hybrid model is extremely promising and we're very impressed with Hylion team's support. So it really seems like customers were super satisfied with this initial demo test of Hylion's hybrid truck solution and that it delivered plenty of power and performance, reduced operating costs and delivered on sustainability. Hylion seems on track to begin commercialization in 2022, although the CEO Thomas Healy has hinted recently 
in their earnings report that Hylion could actually recognize some initial revenues in the second half of 2021. So what do you think about these initial results from Hylion's testing program? I think to me it sounds very positive. I'm going to be curious to see what other fleet operators find with the performance and if it meets expectations. Would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash the like button and hit subscribe. Bye for now.